your public work needs. City of Rome Public Works for all your public work needs. <laughs> Roads, bridges, water main breaks, plowing, I think they need an LED sign. What do you guys think? And that's pretty bright outside. Look at all those blocks. That's a lot of blocks. That's a uh, central bus station. We'll get there. Central. That's the city bus garage. <sighs> Building for lease if anybody wants it. <laughs> This was the old, uh, I can't remember the name, I think it's Waterbury Press. And it's been for sale for some time. Be nice if somebody bought it. Tell you in a minute. This is Wright Street by William Harper. What? All the people in my park. In my park, damn it. I shovel it, that makes it my park. Cutting cross. Uh, right in here is where the uh, skate park, I believe, is going to be. Somewhere's in here, the way they have it marked. But uh, this is the uh, bathhouse facilities for boaters, tourists, bikers. It also makes a great place to hunker down when there's a thunderstorm. Just saying. Hamilton College Boathouse. This is brand new. And I can't decide if this car lives here or what, but it's here like 24 7. <laughs> can't figure out why. The Jason P. Andrus Boathouse. And it's quite a boathouse. That's my brakes. Like I said, it's quite a boathouse. And they were smart enough to put security cameras up on it. The Barge Canal, looking a little windy. Coming down. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. I 
I try to ignore all the graffiti. I like to catch the idiots doing that. Really would. They got nothing better to do. But let's continue. And you can pause it and read it. You know how it works. And here's the big map. That's about where we are now, I believe. It would have been nice to see a lot of these buildings back in the late 1800s. It would be nice if some of these buildings were actually still standing. Quite like something. Here comes the train. There goes the train. This is where the Mohawk River dumps into the Barge Canal. And when we get heavy rain, this thing is just loud. <laughs> I mean, right now it's pretty quiet, but when we get flooding rains, whoop, is it loud. This is Canal Street which leads into Bellamy Harbor Park. It's easy to find, just look for burned dairy. If you go by it, you've gone too far. Finish Line Automotive, they've been here for a very long time. Doggy, where'd you come from? Oh, well, he's going to come over here. Where'd you come from? Hey. <laughs> Not too sure about him. You okay? right at the automotive center. Maybe it's their dog. It's a big dog. Might be the automotive center dog. He looks all cut. Mm -mm. I think it's to the auto shop. I know at night time he's usually got a couple big dogs in there. Keeps the thieves out. U-Haul Center. This is RS Steel. They've been here for a very long time. I believe it's fabrication of steel. U-Haul Center. Always got to have a U-Haul. Huh. R.S. Steel. And I'm going to circle around and go down the trail. Eventually. I keep forgetting that tomorrow is Sunday, March 31st. So it's Easter. Okay, I admit, I like bright colors, but that on a house is just too much. <laughs> That's just gaudy. Turning. 
This is Yuvani Park, named after Sergeant Yuvani. I don't know why, but I always like that brick house. Uh, this is the back area of our steel, or the front, depending how you want to look at it. And if we go this way, you can get on the part of the river trail that leads to South James Street. <laughs> Part of it. Trail to walk on in the summer. Uh, this trail to... leads from uh, Bellamy Harbor Park and going westward, it leads out to South James Street. It's a nice trail. The problem is, again, I wouldn't really call it a nature trail. It's a uh, walking trail because they want to develop everything along the waterfront i mean it's prime real estate so which isn't going to make the people that camp out along here all summer too happy uh oh well <laughs> Like I said, they just, I don't mind if they camp out and live in the woods all summer, but Jesus, you know, <laughs> clean up after yourselves. I mean, it's not like it's your land. And this whole area right in here is where they want to build a new apartment complex. Supposedly, they want veterans and, I don't know, disabled people and retired people living in it. I doubt it. Uh, I've heard this before about low-income housing, and it never ends up that way. What happens is that a humongous population of people from New York City ends up living in them. And funny enough, I believe the developer of this land is a New York City person. Oh, it kind of makes you wonder. And personally, I don't care for low-income housing. I really don't because it creates a lot of issues. You need more police. Sorry, but the truth hurts. Sorry. Uh, houses that have a high real estate value, if they have low income housing built near them, their real estate value goes down the drain. And my question is, is how are they gonna leave the trailer park in here? Because the art design of all this land in the near future, or far future doesn't show nothing of a trailer park so are they gonna buy out the owner of the trailer park are they gonna declare imminent domain and force all the people here to move I mean or are they just gonna write them a letter saying hey you got uh <laughs> you got two years to find a new place uh, <laughs> I I'm really curious about that something the news media doesn't care to inform you about. And you probably can't see it, but the camera is pointed at the big eagle nest. And yes, there is a pair of eagles in it, although right now I think they're out hunting. This was recently done, and it took a very long time to get it done. It took, uh, I'd say about a full year and a half to get this done. And if 
Funny enough, the idiots around here are already putting graffiti up that uh, TXIC I talk about in my previous video. Yeah, it's all over this area. I mean, it's... They really got to catch the idiot doing that because, <laughs> I mean, put a street light up here or a lamppost like they have it marked right there for a lamppost and put a security camera in here and see what you can see. <laughs> But that big dot in the tree, right there, that's the eagle nest. And uh, judging by the size of it, I would say it's probably their second nest. Because they always build each year, they build a 